All right, so let's talk about our plunge rate and our retract rate on the z-axis. So we have a really simple project set up. Um, this is just a line that we're gonna carve out with an eighth inch bit. And in our cut settings, you can see that we have our plunge rate set to 12 inches per minute. So this is how fast the z-axis is gonna go down into the material. Now, if we simulate this, you can kind of see what the tool paths are looking like. And if we zoom in, the blue one, this is gonna be your actual plunge into the material. So if we simulate this, so that right there, that was 12 inches per minute. And then as this moves across, it gets to the end and then it's gonna retract. And before our retract and our plunge would be equal to the same thing. So both would be 12 inches per minute. But now we've made a change to where your retract is gonna be equal to the maximum retract rate for your machine. So this will be the same as when you're jogging your machine around in the Z axis, how quick it moves. So the retract rate for the X carve is about 19.7 inches per minute, which is 500 millimeters per minute in metric. And this can make a big difference, especially if you're working with harder material or you have a thinner bit and your plunge rate needs to be even lower than this. This can really help you save time. Now, in this case, we really don't have a lot of retracts because I think this is just three passes, so it doesn't take a long time to get through the entire process. But if we come to a project that is a lot more complex, so in this case, we're doing this NASA logo with lots of retracts in there then this can definitely help you save time. So even if you have your safety height set higher, so in this case, I think it's set to a half an inch, that's gonna help you save time as well because it's not gonna be using the plunge rate every single time. It's gonna go as quick as your machine can handle to be able to move to the next cut.